Now guys, I think I'm the first person on the platform to say this, but YouTube has a problem. <laughs> so the night before I went traveling, I got an email. Then I got another email. Then I got another email. Are you a madman? And by the time I woke up, I had hundreds of emails, all copyright claims, saying that my videos use copyright content and couldn't be monetized. I also love how bad stuff like this always happens before you're about to travel, by the way. Like, you could spend weeks at home rotting at your computer and nothing bad happens. So, over the past couple days, I've had pretty much every single video I've ever made and uploaded onto the channel copyright claimed. Which means 100% of the money made from the videos does not go to me, it goes to whoever claimed the video. Now, I wish I could tell you that this was a scam. I wish I could tell you it was some guy who just used a new loophole, but... Unfortunately, from what I can tell, uh, these claims are totally legitimate. So the people that actually watch the videos that didn't just come from like a Reddit post or something, you probably know my outro music. It's Beach Walk by a group called Whitewoods. <laughs> and these guys were more than happy for me to use the song. We got kind of like an unwritten agreement where, you know, they, they've seen the outro. They don't really care. They're like, yeah, YouTube is using it. That's, that's cool. Who cares? The only problem is that song that they allowed me to use was actually sampled from another song. Uh, apparently it was sampled by La Vie en Rose by Grace Jones. And if you compare the two in the opening, they are pretty similar, even though the Whitewoods Beach Walk song has been like pitch shifted, messed around with and remixed. But apparently it wasn't enough for the YouTube content ID bot to just go absolutely ham on my channel and claim everything. <laughs> And I, I can't believe I have to say this, but before I go on, don't give Grace Jones any hate. The chances she's done this directly are absolutely none. She's some sweet 70-year-old woman. It's these horde of bots that got unleashed by my channel, mostly by Sony. So, uh, thank you, Sony Music. I really appreciate it. Because as we all know, a company that generated $7.2 billion in revenue in 2017, they, they really need that money, man. So I had to try and fix this issue because the channel was making absolutely no money. Thankfully, there is a silver lining. YouTube has actually enabled the video editing feature for any video. I think previously you could only edit a video up to 200k views and then it disabled it for some reason, which is just completely brain dead. But now they've reopened the feature, so no matter how many views your video has, it can be edited. So I was given two choices to try and get the revenue back, completely remove the outro, or overlay the outro with new music. I went with the second option because I want to preserve the outro. You know the funny meme where the TV man removes the TV and, and there's a JPEG of an image? That is integral to my channel. Now, I go into the YouTube editor. The only way to use the new editor is to access the new YouTube layout. You know that layout which you just go to the bottom left and keep pressing create a studio? Yeah, that one. Now, I access the new editor and to be fair, it looks pretty decent. But the problem is, if you want to overlay music, you have to click this little icon in the corner and then it takes you straight back to the Stone Age. Seriously, like you go from Blade Runner to 10,000 BC in one mouse click. It's amazing. It's horrible, like, you can't even zoom in on the timeline anymore. So firstly, I had to make the massive choice of what copyrighted free music I could use because the only music you could overlay was from YouTube's audio library. And let me tell you guys, there's some great options. Kill me. So the YouTube music editor is actually so horrendous because you can't even zoom in on the timeline. If I want to add music over the copyrighted stuff, it's going to cover the little meme after the outro that I always put in, and it's also going to cover me talking for about 10 seconds before the outro actually kicks in. So now every single video I upload before this one is going to look like this. Hella lit. And just tell your wife how- And this sucks, man. Like, I absolutely hate it. It makes me feel that my videos are even worse. Like, I just sloppily put music in to quickly get the money back. But trust me, the editor is absolutely garbage. And the worst thing is, YouTube could easily make a change to fix the editor. Either highlight what music is copyrighted, for example, like a red box on the timeline for the music that's claimed, and give an option to overlay that or remove it perfectly. It's great, man, that they've claimed absolutely everything. Uh, Petscarp, Far Cry 5 review videos I actually like making. They got it all. They own the revenue to absolutely everything. And what people don't understand is like 80% of a YouTuber's income comes from legacy views, people watching the older videos. And it's great that the only chance I have to fix this is by using an editing software from the Stone Age. Seeing when my revenue's under fire, like three people might suggest I make a Patreon. Uh, again, I talked about this, and so I really don't deserve a Patreon. If I upload it every couple of weeks with like analysis or stuff that's so niche, it's not actually gonna get me enough income to survive on my own, then uh, 
Yeah, I really don't need one. Your, uh, your boy isn't gonna go homeless anytime soon, don't worry. Would you slide? <laughs> but if you do have any spare cash and you really wanna give it to a creator, I'm gonna link some Patreons down below for people that you should definitely look into supporting. It actually sucks so bad because Whitewoods, the people that I used the music from originally, they put on their community post that they've been hit as well. Sony just plowed into their back end. It sucks because as melodramatic as this sounds, I feel that the, the song I used in the outro was kind of like a really important part of the channel. It's something that remained consistent. I know the Lee Fiera commentary, everyone was like ebbing vaporwave and I guess that's kind of vaporwave, but you know, it, it, was a, it was a good song, man. It's gonna be really hard to replace it with a completely copyright free song that is sampled from nothing in a society where we're literally running out of music to make. Oh, you got that lo-fi beat, bro? I uh, Drake used that eight years ago. Sorry, we're gonna claim all your videos now. At the minute, I've managed to totally destroy and remove the music from about 50 videos. I've got another 400 to go. I also wanna thank Dolan Dark, Ramsker, and the Omnia partner team because they've all been like, on their computers trying to counterclaim these videos as well. It's just been such a colossal mess and I really appreciate them helping. I actually had to cut my holiday a bit short to come home and record this video because I, I don't bring YouTube stuff with me. But yeah, this sucks, man. By the time it's over and we counter every claim, they would have stolen thousands of dollars easily. But yeah, that's the way YouTube copyright works. I mean, they could easily fix the system, so if you use copyright material, it would take a percentage of the video, but no, 100%. Great, guys. All right, I hope you enjoyed. Buy some merch. My name's yeah. Jeff.